Problem 9-77, we're given this table over here on the right with some values missing and we're asked to write a rule for the table, find the slope and the y-intercept. So let's go ahead and open that up and uh, try to fill in this table. So the first thing you want to do is, if possible, because the x up here is out of order, um, see if you can find two x values that are next to each other that we know the y values of. So we have a negative 2x here and a negative 1x there. So x is increasing by 1. Um, and we can have a look to see how much the y is increasing by. So we start at 1 and we go to negative 1. So it's actually decreasing by 2. So now with that piece of information, we know that each time x increases by 1, y is going to decrease by by 2. So if you think of it as a rule, remember that's going to be y equals mx plus b. It'll, it'll always look something like this, where m is the slope, or the amount y is changing, and b is the y-intercept, or where we're starting from. So this negative 2 here that we found, we can plug in for m. So we'll end up with y equals negative 2x plus b. Now to find the b, we can actually pick one of these points that we know. So we have a negative 1x, negative 1y, and we can plug that into this equation and see, and then solve for b to find out what it is. So if we were to do that, we would have negative 1 for y, that's going to equal negative 2 times and then negative 1 again for x, and plus b we can uh, calculate these, we'll have negative 1 on the left and on the right we'll have a negative 2 times a negative 1 which is going to be a positive 2 and then a plus b. So now we can solve this equation for b minus 2 from both sides on the left we'll have negative 3 and on the right the 2 and negative 2 will cancel and we'll just have b. So now we can plug in this value for b we found what it equals. So now our equation is going to look like y equals negative 2x. Um, I'm going to write plus b, but we can write it in as a number, and it's going to be minus 3. So now to find the rest of the values in this table, we can plug in these x values and see what y is equal. So for this one, we'll have y equals negative 2 times 1 half minus 3. So we can solve that. We'll have negative 2 times 1 half, which is negative 1, still minus 3. We'll have y equals minus 4. So we can write that in the table there. Uh, let's skip over this one for a little bit, and we'll have a 7 up here. So we can plug that one in as well. y equals negative 2 times 7 minus 3. That is y equals negative 14 minus 3. So y equals negative 17. We can write that in. Uh, for this one here, we know the y. We want to find the x. So you could plug it in to this equation, plug in the value for y, solve it for x. But we can actually skip that. Um, if we notice that this negative 3 here is what our y-intercept is. And in a table, our y-intercept is where x is going to be 0, and the y is that y-intercept. So because we know the y-intercept is negative 3, as we found down here, then we know the x value at when y is equal to negative 3 is going to be 0. So to answer the questions, um, so now we've filled in the table to answer the questions. Part A wants us to write the rule, which is going to be y equals negative 2x minus 3. It's what we were using to fill in the table. Part B wants us to find the slope, and that is that negative 2 in front of the x. And part C wants us to find the y-intercept, which is this minus 3.